Hey y'all, now this is going to be about Donald Trump taking heat for suggesting man shot by Buffalo Police may be Antifa Furbisher. Now y'all already know how I feel about the incident that happened with the police and Buffalo and the man that was pushed down. Now, um, I just kind of skimmed through this. Uh, you know, I haven't uh, read anything, so I just wanted to kind of get y'all to see my reaction to this. Again, y'all already know how I feel about the man that was pushed by the police. But with that being said, let's get into it. Let's see. President Trump on Tuesday questioned the motives of the elderly protester who was shot by Buffalo police officers last week and hospitalized after he hit his head in a resulting fall, drawing severe backlash from both sides of the aisle. Officers Robert McCabe and Aaron Trogosi pleaded not guilty to second-degree assault after they were caught on camera shoving Martin Gucci. Gordiano, who is 75, to the ground during protests in the city over the death of George Floyd. The officer has been suspended without pay, and an internal and fair investigation was launched into the men. District Attorney John Flynn said the officers crossed the line. A uh, Buffalo protester shot by police could be an anti for prosecutor. 75 year old Martin Green was pushed away after appearing to scam police communications in order to. Blackout the equipment. Trump tweeted Tuesday signing the conservative TV channel uh, on OAN. Never heard of it. Um, but, anyways, I watched. He fell harder than he was pushed. The aiming scandal could be a setup. Um, next part is just Donald Trump tweeting that out. Same thing. Uh, let's see. Guys, you only appear to be attempting to speak with officers as they're advancing in masses during a, down a street. According to the Western New York Peace Center, WNYPC, worked on the group's Latin American solidarity community. The backlash to Trump's tweet was swift, including from Bernie's lawyer, Kelly uh, Saccharone, who slammed the president in a statement to Fox News. Martin is out of ICU but still hospitalized and truly needs to rest, she said. Martin has always been peace, has been a peaceful protest because he cares about the society. He's also a typical Western New Yorker who loves his family. No one from law enforcement has ever suggested anything otherwise. So we are at a loss to understand why the President of the United States makes such dark, dangerous, and untrue accusations against him. Media personalities on the left and right also ripped Trump's post. My God, this is a bad treat. Chuck Ross, a daily caller, reported there's no evidence to support this, and the guy looked like he fell as hard as he was pushed. Uh, so conservative radio host Eric Erickson simply tweeted, Please stop. Casey Dillon, a former personality at the right leaning Daily Wire and founder of Long Conservative Group for Conservative College Students. I'm just going, to be, going back to bed. CNN White House correspondent John Horwood chimed in saying that Trump is repeating OANA cookery presented by a person who has also worked for a Kremlin propaganda outlet is disconnected from reality, humanity, and common sense. Uh, the OANN report Trump uh, apparently was citing was based on a post from the site conservative treehouse saying that Gary Gruciano was an activist, which is true, but the report does not actually provide evidence that Gruciano is associated with Antifa. Further, it claims without evidence that Gruciano was attempting to use a police track on his phone to scan police communications and apparently black them out. Uh, Zach Rose said Tuesday that Gugliano had his cell phone in his hand in the video and that there was no blackout equipment or attempt or anything like that. And now this is just um, pretty much, you know, everybody's just saying their opinions. Now, um, y'all know how I feel about the initial video itself, okay? One, this man is out past curfew, okay? Um, nobody can argue that. He was out past curfew. We all agree with that, right? Now, as far as the man being pushed, again, I honestly think that the man fell. I mean, I don't think the officers pushed him that hard. I really don't. It does not look like the officers pushed him that hard. Now, as far as, um, you know, an investigation and internal affairs and DA and all that, you know, that's, if you that's, I have no problem with that. If y'all want to investigate, you know, I'm, there's no problem with that. Um, as far as this man being Antifa, you know, I, I don't know. There's been no reports made of that. There's been no claims of that. You know, I don't know. 
Uh, as far as him trying to block out stuff, have a scanner, block out stuff, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen that, but that does not mean that it's not true. You know, I just don't... I don't think the officers are necessarily wrong. You know, man was out past curfew. I don't think he got pushed that hard to where he fell. Now, as far as what Trump said, you know, did he go a little more way that you know, None of this stuff I have seen, uh, as far as him being Antifa, uh, Trump never said he could be, and he just said he could be Antifa. He never said he was. Uh, as far as, you know, trying to block out the equipment, I haven't heard that, but who knows? Uh, you know, I just don't know. But with that being said, you know, don't be out past pro, uh, curfew, and that wouldn't even happen to start with. You know, you wouldn't even push down if you went out past curfew to start with. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and thank y'all for watching. And again, um, you know, try to tweet this out. Okay, everybody has things that they tweet out. Okay, it doesn't mean that I don't support Trump or anything. I'm just saying how I feel. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below.